Good morning, everyone. Our opening hymn will be For the Beauty of the Earth. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the beauty of each hour, of the day and of the night, hill and vale and tree and flower, sun and moon and stars of light. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the joy of ear and eye, for the heart and mind's delight, for the mystic harmony, linking sense to sound and sight. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Cecilia Rallo and the special intention for Andrea Ponte. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might and giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanity, says the teacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What do people gain from all the toil at which they toil under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun goes down and hurries to the place where it rises. The wind blows to the south and goes around to the north. Round and round goes the wind, and on its circuits the wind returns. All streams run to the sea, but the sea is not full. To the place where the streams flow, there they continue to flow. All things are wearisome, more than one can express. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, or the ear filled with hearing. What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done. There is nothing new under the sun. Is there a thing of which is said, see, this is new? It has already been in the ages before us. The people of long ago are not remembered, nor will there be any remembrance of people yet to come by those who come after them. The word of the Lord. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn us back to dust and say, turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You sweep them away, they are like a dream like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. So teach us to count our days that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O oh Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love 
so that we rejoice and be glad all our days. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper for us the work of our hands. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod the ruler heard about all that Jesus had done and he was perplexed because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the ancient prophets had arisen. Herod said, John I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? And Herod tried to see Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. The beginning of the book of Ecclesiastes starts off with a rough passage. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Isn't this how we feel sometimes? We're down. All we see is darkness around us, questioning life's purpose. Woe is me tough to be in our own skin? Does God even care? It's easy to fall into this passage, but the passage we'll hear tomorrow which follows from it is one of great consolation. It speaks of a time for everything, a very popular passage for funerals, but it's actually about living more than it is about dying. A time to mourn and a time to dance. So in other words, it is very important for us to remember our place in God's plan. We are but a grain of sand on his seashore, yet an important one. And when our grain seems like it's meaningless and pointless, God reminds us of the complete opposite is true. And yet we are called to continue to trust in a God even when all the darkness is around us. Because as we know that Christ is risen from the dead, he is our light. And so I encourage you, my dear people, that when you feel like this passage relates to your life, that you not be discouraged, that you not give up, that you not feel overwhelmed and alone, but rather feel comfortable enough to express your feelings to God in your daily prayer. And then trust that this too shall pass, that God will sustain you, that God will lift you up, and by his grace you will be healed of whatever is troubling. May we pray for one another, especially those who find themselves in the midst of this passage, so God may give them hope. For alone we can do nothing, but with God all things are possible. Let us pray. Filled with hope and trust in God, let us join in love to present our petitions to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our own Bishop Gerard Bergi, and for other church leaders. May the grace of God sustain them as they guide their flocks, we pray. Let us pray for those in leadership positions throughout the world. May the Holy Spirit inspire them in working for peace instead of war and charity instead of greed, we pray. Let us pray for those who suffer from chronic illness and those who care for them. May the Lord relieve their pain and uplift their spirits, we pray. Let us pray for all of us gathered here. May the hope of Christ burn in our hearts and inspire our sharing of God's message of salvation, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, 
that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, for researchers to find a vaccine, and for all those who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. And for all who have died, we remember especially Cecilia, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died, that they may rejoice in the loving embrace of God our Father, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts, Heavenly Father, we offer these petitions with gratitude and love, asking that you receive them in your gracious mercy. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant, Cecilia, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ.
For the joy of human love, brother, sister, parent, child, friends on earth and friends above, for all gentle thoughts and mild, Lord of all to you we raise, this our hymn of grateful praise. For your church that evermore lifts its holy hands above, offering up on every shore its pure sacrifice of love. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For yourself, best gift divine, to this world so freely given, word incarnate, God's design, peace on earth and joy in heaven. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. God bless you.